Hi, I'm Senator Ed DeGrange from Northern Anne Arundel County. I serve as Chairman of the Senate's Capital Budget Subcommittee. I'd like to take a moment to talk with you about the state's capital budget. The capital budget is our investment in infrastructure projects around the state. It includes funding for school construction and renovation, projects at community colleges and universities, hospitals and community health centers, and cultural institutions. The capital budget plays two important roles. First, it creates and protects jobs in the construction industry, and second, it provides a long-term investment in projects that benefit all Marylanders. The capital budget is a critical investment for our citizens who work in the construction industry. As Maryland's economy begins to emerge from recession, this investment cannot be underestimated. The $3.2 billion capital program will help employ over 24,000 construction workers. The program accounts for 16% of construction jobs in the state and over 12% of construction spending. The capital budget is a long-term infrastructure investment. Take school construction, for example. We have invested over $1 billion in school construction this term. In this year's capital budget, we will invest an additional $250 million. That's double the investment in the previous term. And a generation of school children will benefit from learning in modern and safe classrooms as a result. The capital budget process is transparent and open to public involvement. You can view the capital budget bill on the legislature's website. It's Senate Bill 142. You can view a map of projects in capital budget on the governor's state stat website. And you can learn about budget hearings on the legislature's website. Finally, this legislation is so critical both to our short-term economic health and our long-term infrastructure needs that it's historically passed with bipartisan support. It's a tremendous honor to serve in the Maryland Senate, and it's important for you to remember that we're here to serve you. Please don't hesitate to contact your senator if you have an idea, a question, or you need assistance. Thank you.